All right, let's talk about some more organic naming. And as you can see from this diagram, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, that would be called hexene. And one, two, three, four, five, six, that also would be called hexene. So what's the difference between this um, diagram and this diagram? And the course, the answer is where this double bond is located. And if you'll notice, um, I, I'm going to count from this direction. I'm going to say one, two. That's the first time I come in contact with the double bond and say this is two hexene. You might argue, well, isn't it one, two, three, four? Well, you have to understand that in um, real life, this molecule isn't flat on a piece of paper. And it's floating around and it may flip in any number of three dimensions and therefore to name it we simply count from whichever way is the closest so we kind of say golf score wins um, so on this one the carbon number one would be the first one to come in contact with it so this one we, we, call, we would call one hexene so they're explaining here um, how we tell them apart, and it's simply where the double bond is located. Here they are showing you, you would have counted one, two, three, four. That would have been a four, or a one, two. And so two is a smaller number, makes it two hexene. If there's more than one double bond, then you would count them up, and the lowest number wins. So this one would be called one hexene. If you have triple bonds, you are now kine, I Y N E S, ein. And it's very similar to the alkanes and the alkenes, um, except we lose for every triple bond, four hydrogens lose their job um, because each carbon only needs four bonds. So this one would have one, two, three, four. He would have four. And so these four hydrogens. So this also, alkynes, are also unsaturated, meaning they don't have the full allotment of, of hydrogens on their carbons. We name them the same way. So uh, just like on the last one where we counted to find out what kind of alkene we had, um, we would also count both directions. If I counted from uh, left to right, I'd get a one alkyne. And if I counted from this direction, I would get a three. So this one happens to be one, two, three, four, which would be butte. So this is a 1-but, an ein, Y-N-E, because it's a triple bond at location number 1. This one would be 1-2 if I count this direction, or 1-2 if I count that direction. So either way, this is a 2-but, ein. So let's practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven makes me hept. Single bonds makes me ain. Heptane. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's at least one double bond, so makes me heptine. I've got to tell the reader where that double bond is. So that's one, two, three if I count this direction, and one, two, three, four. That's why three it is. This compound's named three heptene. When there's more than one, like I said, we add up the bonds. So if I were to count from this direction, from left to right, I would have been at 3 and 5, 
which would be 8. And if I counted from right to left, I would be at 2 and 4, which would make 6. Since 6 is a smaller number, we will be counting from the direction that gets us the 6. We don't use the 6 in any way, it's just letting us know which direction to count in. And our name is then 2, 4, hept, and now I have to say here redundantly that I have two double bonds, and I say that by putting the, the Greek uh, prefix for um, two, which is di in there. So this is a two, four, hepta, di, in. I didn't make up the naming system, so we do put that die in there each time we have a bond that is two. If there were three bonds, we'd say tri. If there were four, we'd say tetra. If there were five, we'd say penta.